All right, you waited long enough. It's this week's Money Minutes. Ryan Payne, Courtney Dominguez. And the markets have been crazy, Court. You know, lots of volatility going on right now. Yeah, to say the least. The news makes it sound like the sky is falling right now, but it's not, so that's good. <laughs> so what we wanted you to do is there's three proactive moves you need to make on your portfolio today. Yeah. yeah, and I think the number one thing we talk about, and if somebody ever calls in a panic, is you need to just be patient. We know the stock markets are going to go up and they're going to go down. It's a natural part of how the stock markets work, but we just need to wait out some of these time periods when it's a little harder to be an investor. Um, a great example is in mid-2015 to mid-2016. Right. There was a lot of movement, but the stock markets didn't go anywhere. And if you weren't patient to wait through that, you wouldn't have gotten the great upside that the end of 2016 and 2017 had. Yeah, exactly. The old proverbial, it's time in the market, not timing the exactly. markets. Yeah. So the other thing you want to think about, we talk about this a lot, is you want a global portfolio. Yes. There's a lot going on around the world. Half the population of the world is in the emerging markets. Half the growth in the world is in the emerging markets. Think about it this year. There's going to be a billion smartphones sold. 70% of those, rather, are going to be in India and China. You have to have these places in your portfolio. The portfolio you had the last 10 years is going to look a lot different than the portfolio you need the next 10 years to be a successful investor. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and I think the other big thing we've been talking about is making sure you have an inflation hedge in your portfolio. So there is a good chance here that we can start to see inflation, which we haven't seen for several years here. And making sure you have something like commodities, for example, things like gold and silver actually tend to do well in inflationary periods. So making sure you have a piece of that in your portfolio, so if inflation goes up, you have that in there, is huge. Yeah, so... Three things, look at the world economy, make sure you're patient, make sure you have inflation hedges. If you want to talk to a real financial advisor about putting together a real financial plan, you can click on the link below. And if you want access to our latest guide on tax reform, you can click on the other link below, get it for free. That's this week's Money Minutes. As always, be bullish. bullish.